My late sister is one of the ladies in those videos. I wish she had listened, but I know how strong the temptation was and how convincing that leader could be. She lost her life after failing to maintain the rules. Those were strict rituals. I am about to expose everything. That man went to a Sangoma in Gia. Hello viewers, welcome once again to another educative episode of African Confessions HD right here on Extra on Africa. My name is Solution Uncle. If you're still new in this show, we publish lifetime confessions. Usually, we publish anonymously for their own safety reasons. We have this confession of our brother. We saying his sister was one of the ladies who featured in those videos circulating on social media. We are about to read through this confession, a must watch confession and an educative confession as well. Enjoy your watch. How are you admin? You can call me admire. I come from Guinea where my family was once close knit and hopeful for the future. We didn't have much but we were united by our love for each other and our dreams to build a better life through hard work. Life seemed stable until tragedy began to change everything. After we knew this person, the trending person, yes, I am close to that person. I'll explain my story. My sister, who can I call Aisha, was my only sibling and we were each other's support, especially after we lost our parents. We were raised to value patience, honest and effort. But in a world that often celebrates wealth above all, Aisha was sometimes tempted by faster routines to success. Our lives took a sudden, painful turn when my brother, who had recently graduated, died in a car accident. It was a day meant to be filled with joy. As we were traveling to celebrate his success, instead it became a nightmare, with most of our family lost in that accident. Aisha and I survived, but we were left as the only two family members. This loss weighed heavily on both of us, especially on my sister, who felt deeply alone and was more vulnerable than ever. We tried to build our lives and keep each other going. I took on jobs here and there to help us stay afloat. Aisha did her best too, but I could see her yearning for something more something beyond the daily struggles that's when a new chapter began one that i would give anything to undo among my late brother's friends was a man we had only heard about before someone with significant influence and wealth he was well known for being well connected and lived a life that men in our community admired it was this same man who reached out to us especially to aisha after our brother's passing. When he came into our lives, he seemed to be of our hope, especially to Aisha. He spoke of opportunities and ways to achieve financial security. He promised her a life free from that ships. We would face a life where she wouldn't have to struggle or worry about money ever again. However, there was a price to pay, a dark side to this leader's world. He wasn't just wealthy, he was known to be part of a certain ritual that could provide immense wealth but came with the strict dangerous conditions. Aisha was enticed but hesitant and I strongly advised her against getting involved. I told her, Aisha, we can find our way. We don't need to chase quick money like this. But in her heart, she was already swayed. Despite my warnings, Aisha decided to go forward. The leader explained to her that if she joined his inner circle, she would gain access to incredible wealth and security. But there was one rule she had to follow. She must remain in love with her husband, no matter what. If she ever fell out of love or close or chose to leave him, the consequences would be severe, even fatal. Aisha believed she could keep this rule. She thought the wealthy and comfort were worth the risk. She convinced herself and she would remain faithful to the conditions set by the leader and that life-changing money would allow her to build a future for herself and by extension for both of us. The ritual took place as promised. Aisha 
was handsomely rewarded. It wasn't just a small sum. He received enough to live comfortably for years to come. But the ritual had changed here in a ways I couldn't see immediately. She was no longer the sister I had known. She seemed both happier and more distant, as if a way had been built between us. I worried for a year, but then it was too late to turn back. After a few months, Aisha's life looked perfect on the outside, but inside things were beginning to fall apart. Their relationship with their husband started to change. Whatever had initially drawn them together seemed to fade, and the pressures of their new life began to take a toll. They argued often, and she found herself thinking about leaving him. I reminded her of the ritual's rule and the consequences of breaking it, but she was set on her decision. She fueled for divorce, thinking that perhaps the rule was just a scare tactic, that nothing would happen. But this was misjudgment that would cost her dearly. Soon after the divorce, Aisha began to suffer from strange illness. Her health deteriorated quickly and no doctors could explain the cause. It was as if something was draining the life out of her, something that no medicine could cure. She grew weaker and weaker until eventually she passed away. Losing Aisha was like losing my entire family all over again. She had been my last remaining relative, the only person who shared my memories in my life. Now she was gone and I was left alone, headed by her choices and the dark path she had chosen. My warnings echoed in my mind, but nothing could bring her back. The money, the promises, the glamour, it was all gone, and all that remaining was emptiness and regret. I think about her every day, about how she chose the easier road, but ended up paying the ultimate price. My sister is one of the women in 400 videos. Is one of them. I'm here to confess it so that people can learn and know the truth. I wish she had listened, but I know how strong the temptation was and how convincing that leader could be. Now I live with the lesson the story has left behind. It's a warning I want others to hear, especially those who think that wealth can come easy and without consequences. If something sounds too good to be true, it often comes with hiding costs. I want others to know that quick money is rarely worth the price you pay in the end. To anyone reading or listening my story, I hope you think twice before going about shortcuts. Real success and peace come from hard work, from patience, and from integrity. Don't be deceived by people who promise you the world without any effort, especially if it involves dangerous rituals and conditions. My sister's choice had left me with scars that may never heal. She was young and full of dreams, but in the end, those dreams turned to dust. Now I am the last of my family, bearing the weight of your decisions and emptiness of losing everyone I love. If you find yourself tempted by promises of quick money, remember my sister's story. Remember that sometimes the things that seem most valuable come at a cost too high to bear. Choose a path you can look back or without regret and remember that nothing of this comes so easily. My sister was one of those ladies. <clears throat> My brother, yes, 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 yes. People are doing things out there. Hey. Anyway, thanks for sharing your story. Thanks for for, for, for sharing your story. Um, it's, it's gave us clarity, and we have learned from that story again. Yeah. To everyone listening, a powerful way to approach a solution uh, to this story is through faith and seeking guidance from biblical teachings, focusing on the values of patience, integrity, and trust in, in God's time. Ladies and gentlemen, whoever is listening to this, uh, rely on God's time, timing, and provision. Rely on God's timing and provision. In the Bible, we see examples of God providing for his people in times of need. Philippines chapter 4 verse 19 says, And my God will meet all your needs according 
to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. When we are struggling, it's easy to feel tempted by shortcuts or fast money. But this verse reminds us that God is aware of our needs and provides us in his perfect timing. Let's wait for God's time. Number two, avoid the love of money. Too much love of money. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 10 warns, For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Some people eager for money. They have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. This verse reminds us that the pursuit of wealth, when it becomes more important than our faith and morals, can lead to regret and suffering, as seen in this sister's story. Number three, let's seek spiritual protection and resist temptation. We won't do it alone. We need to seek spiritual protection. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 11 advises believers to put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. In Aisha's case, the temptation for quick wealth exposed the air to spiritual dangers. Praying, staying strong in faith and seeking God's protection daily can guide people against spiritual pitfalls. Number four, repentance and prayer for deliverance. For anyone who has been involved in harmful or spiritually uh, dangerous actions, there is hope and repentance. First John chapter 1 verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Repentance brings healing and freedom from past mistakes. Praying for deliverance from any harmful influences and seeking help from a pastor or a Christian counselor can bring peace and restoration. And uh, to you listeners, do this for your safety. Do the things I'm, I'm, I'm about to tell you for your safety. The first important thing, value patience and hard work. Listeners, value patience and hard work. Be cautious of anyone promising a wealth without effort. True success comes from dedication, hard work, and integrity. By focusing on these qualities, people can build a life they are proud of and avoid falling for shortcuts with hidden dangers. Number two, strengthen your faith and seek godly guidance. Stay rooted in faith and surrounding yourself with positive influences is essential. Engage in prayer, Bible study, and fellowship with other believers. When making decisions, seek guidance from God and from those who follow godly principles. Number three, pray for wisdom and discernment. James chapter 1 verse 5 encourages us to ask for wisdom. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to, to you. Pray for wisdom to recognize harmful opportunities and to make choices that align with God's will. We need to pray for that wisdom. Yes, we won't do it alone. We need to pray for it. It should be straight away coming from God. Let's pray for that wisdom. Number four, support each other with encouragement. Encourage friends and family to pursue honest work and avoid dangerous shortcuts. Share this story as a reminder of the risk associated with shortcuts and help others understand the importance of integrity and patience and uh, all of that. By choosing the path of patience, faith, and integrity, people can avoid traps of quick money and find peace and purpose in life building a uh, build on values that last. If we do that, we have done a very important thing, a very good thing for our lives. As of this story of Ingonga, which is trending, uh, it's now... I need to comment on that. Yes. Ngonga circulating uh, videos are a serious issue. Especially when people don't fully understand what, what's involved. These are just... These are, these are not just ordinary videos. They are often tied to dark practices and rituals that can bring serious consequences. Yes. The people participating 
may think they are only getting money or fame, but there is usually a hiding price, and it can be far more costly than expected. Yes, for many, it's tempting to accept offers for fast money, especially when life gets tough. But the story of those involved in, in, in Ngonga's videos reminds us that shortcuts can lead to deep regret, suffering, and even worse. People should be aware that agreeing to, the, to these kinds of things can bring about long-term harm that no amount of money can fix. It's essential to remember that true happiness and success come from hard work, patience, sticking to one's values. Staying safe means making wise choices and resistance uh, and resisting uh, the pool of things that seem easy but are risky. This story should serve as a wake-up call for everyone. Quick wealthy fame is rarely worth the price you end up paying. Yes. And listeners, before I leave this prayer, let's pray when we wake up in the morning. Thank you, Lord, for this new day. In the midday, thank you, Lord, for this ongoing day. It's not everyone who is still alive, but I'm alive. I'm, an, I'm, I'm, I'm able to talk with you now. Before sleeping, pray, Lord, safeguard me as I get into my bed. A lot happens overnight. So safeguard me. I won't be alone. Yes. Listeners, and there's this very important announcement I want to make. Uh, thank you so much for supporting this show. And we managed to acquire a piece of land. We want to start a garden there so that we can help the unprivileged uh, by building, drilling a bore, building a warehouse, and that garden. We'll teach them farming skills. The money from that project will be used to pay their fees. So if there is anyone who is willing to support uh, please feel free to contact us on the number I have put on screen. Thank you so much for supporting this show from day one. May God bless you and your families. Yes, bye for now.